All right, guys, in 8.1, we're going to learn how to do integration by parts. So there's a formula here, and it's the integral of u dv equals u times v minus integral of v du. Now, you can derive this from the product rule for derivatives, which we do in class, but right now we're just trying to be able to use this formula. So you've got to pick two things. You need to figure out what you're going to let u be in your problem, and you're going to try to figure out what you're going to let dv be in the problem. Now, the key to this is you want two things. First off, you're going to go from dv to v's in your problem. So you have to pick dv to be something that you can do the antiderivative of. So if I want to let dv be ln of x, that's a problem because ln of x, the antiderivative of ln of x, there is an antiderivative, but it's nowhere near as easy as doing the antiderivative of x squared. So sometimes you can do dv, but you want to pick dv to be something that you can do. At the same time, you want to pick u. Usually you want to pick u to be something that goes away. So in our second problem, u is going to be the x, because x is going to go away pretty easily. So there's a kind of a balance between these things. So we're going to let u be the ln of x. And then dv is going to be x squared. And then technically dx. And we're going to do our u's just like normal. So du is 1 over x dx. And then v is going to be the antiderivative. So 1 third x cubed. And we don't need any plus c's or anything. So now we're going to plug it into our formula. So u, which is ln of x, v times our 1 third x cubed minus the integral of v, our 1 third x cubed, du, 1 over x dx. Now sometimes you'll be able to do the antiderivative directly, and sometimes you'll have to do another integration by parts or use substitution. But it really depends on this problem. 1 third x cubed ln of x minus 1 third integral of x squared. So in the end, we get our 1 third x cubed ln of x minus, this goes up to 3, divide by another 3, giving us 1 ninth x to the third plus c. And you can do things like taking out your GCF of x cubed, but this would be our answer in the end. So you end up with an integral in every one of these problems, and sometimes that is just as tough as the original is. All right, let's try another one here. So we're going to let u be something that we can take the derivative of easily, and both of these are good choices. It's either x or e of the x. And then dv, we have to be able to do the antiderivative of. Well, e of the x goes both ways very nicely, so I want to let u be something that will go away if I get the choice. So du is just dx, making that whole term disappear. And then v is just e to the x. And nothing more complicated. So now we're going to have uv, so x e to the x, minus the integral of v e to the x du dx. And then the integral of e to the x is another e to the x. So we got x e to the x minus e to the x plus c. You can always take your derivative if you'd like to, to double check your answers.